Hi folks, this is Mr. Fiducia. Uh, I want to show you how to do a problem finding probabilities using the normal distribution uh, and also using both Excel and PHSTAT2. Suppose we know that women's heights are normally distributed. That means we can draw that bell-shaped curve and that the mean height, the average height, is 166 centimeters, and the standard deviation, the variability of the heights, is 8 centimeters. And we would like to find the percent of heights that range between 158 and 170, or another way of saying it is what percent of women uh, are between 158 centimeters and 170 centimeters tall. It's about 5, 2 to 5, 6. So what we would do is we would draw the normal distribution first. And to draw the normal distribution, we would draw this bell-shaped curve like this. Our horizontal axis, we'll just call it X, that's um, women heights, women's height in centimeters. We know that the mean height, mu, the average height, uh, is 166 centimeters. We know that the standard deviation of the height, you notice I'm using the symbols that you hopefully will learn or know, is 8 centimeters. So the Average is always in the middle here of the curve. The curve goes from, you know, low values down at the left right here to high values way up here. The height of the curve tells us what frequency or what percentage of the women have these heights. You know, very few women are real short and very few women are real tall. Most are in here someplace. And so... Since we know the mean is 166, we can label that right here. And we can also uh, determine where one standard deviation above the mean is by adding 8 to 166 and getting 174. And then adding another one and getting 182. And then adding a third one and getting 190. We could also subtract one standard deviation and get 150. 158 centimeters, 150 centimeters, and then 142 centimeters. And so we know from the empirical rule, for example, that almost all of the women, 99.7% of them, are between 142 inches, uh, centimeters tall and 190 centimeters tall. We also know using the empirical rule that 68% of the women are between 158 inches tall and 174. That's easy because the numbers we're interested in are the standard deviation that we already have down there. But in this case what we would want to know is what's the probability that if we selected um, a woman out at random that her height would be greater than 158 centimeters but less than 170. So there's two ways you can interpret this. You can say if I pick out one woman at random, what's the probability of heights between 158 and 170? Or you can say what percentage of the women have heights that are between 158 and 170 centimeters? Either way is fine. So here's 158 right here. 170 probably be in here you know, someplace before, below 174. And what we want to know is what percentage of the women have heights that are in here. This is what we want. We want to know that area under the curve because area and probability are the same thing. So we can do this two ways. There's a manual way of doing it. We're not going to learn it in here. But what we're going to do is learn it using Excel. Uh, and then we're going to learn it using pH stat. Two, which is the add-in to Excel. So if we're going to use Excel, what we're going to do is let me go into Excel here. C 
see if it comes up okay. We're going to click on the function right here. And you can either type in up here what you're looking for, but we already know we're looking for the normal uh, distribution. And you can either use norm dist um, or you can use norm s dist. Uh, this is, um, you, you get the same thing either way. I'm going to use norm dist. And what it wants to know is what the mean is. And we know the mean is uh, 166. Let me put that in. It wants to know standard deviation, which we know is 8. And then it wants to know what value are you looking at? Well, as you recall back here, what we said was we want between 158 and 170. Well, when you use Excel like I'm using it, what you need to do is we need to find for 170, we need to find the percent of data that falls below it by um, using Excel. Then we have to do the same thing with 158. We have to find the percent of data that lies to the left of it. Well, you notice we don't want either one of those. What we want is in the, the if you subtract those two, it, that's what you're going to get is right here. That's what we want. So what I'm going to do first is put 170 in, and we're going to get this value. Then I'm going to put 158 in. We're going to get that value of probability. We're going to subtract them to get the, get the answer. So let me put in 178. And then it says cumulative. What it asks you is, do you want Excel to accumulate all the data up to and including 178? So you're going to say yes, true. If you said false, it wouldn't. True. And so, uh, or oh, 158, not 178. Made a mistake. 158. Okay, 158. So, so from 158 to the left, you get 0.1586 of the data, 0.1586 of the data. So this right here is 0.1, get my pen working, 586, that way. Okay, let's go back to Excel, and this time put in 170. That was our upper limit. Same true. You know that 6914 gives it the answer right here, 0.6914. So we go back to our curve here and say this is 0.6914. So if we take the difference of those, 0.6914 minus 0.1586, subtract them we find that this area that we're interested in right here, our probability is 0.5328. In other words, 53.28% of the women have heights between 158 uh, and 170 centimeters. Now, you notice with Excel like that, I had to do it twice. I had to do some subtraction. Let's instead now go back and let's... Uh, do pH stat 2. Here's my pH stat 2. You notice up here it says add ins. I click add ins and I get pH stat 2 over here. Click on pH stat 2. We want probability. And probability distribution, we want the normal, which is right here. And again, it asks for the mean, which we know is 166. It asks for the standard deviation, which we know is uh, 8. And then it asks, do you want a probability for X, the women's height, to be less than some number? Or do you want the probability that the women's height X is greater than some number? 
Well, in our case, we don't want either one of those. We want the probability of a range. The lower limit, remember, it was 158, and the upper limit was 170. And we want to know uh, the probability that the woman's age, uh, women's height, rather, is between 158 centimeters and 170. And so you could put a title in here, uh, you know, women's age. Anyway, click on OK, and here's what it gives you. It tells you the mean standard deviation, and over here, it shows you, right here, it shows you that the probability a woman's height is between 158 and 170 is 0.5328, exactly the same number that we got before, only we had to use a couple of steps then. Here it shows you 6915, which we found. It shows you 1587. But PHSTAT 2 has the advantage of doing it in just one step, less chance of making a mistake. Try some of these. There's examples in the textbook. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, email me, afiduciatkaplan.edu.